America's massive military might is on the way to bring food and water and other supplies to some two million people trapped in the Gaza Strip in the war between Israel and Hamas. American Army and Navy units will build what's called a Trident Pier off the shore of Gaza into the Mediterranean Sea, allowing massive ships from around the globe to deliver the food and other supplies they need. Story here from the Department of Defense with a military file video of what a Trident Pier looks like and how it functions. From the DOD, quote, The Specialized Army Unit tasked with establishing a temporary pier off the coast of Gaza to deliver critical humanitarian assistance has wasted no time in making the complex operation a reality. The first of several watercraft used to construct the pier and manned by troops from the 7th Transportation Brigade began a week's-long transit from the unit's home port in Virginia to the U.S. Central Command Area of Responsibility less than two days after President Joe Biden called on the military to conduct the emergency operation during his State of the Union address. Today, more than four Army vessels set sail from uh, Joint Base uh, langley Utis to join the operation. Uh, the Monterey, Matamoros, uh, James A. Liu, and Wilson Wharf. The brigade, a component of the Airborne Corps, is the Army's premier watercraft unit specializing in joint logistics over the shore, or JLOTs. JLOT systems can jointly employ Army and Navy logistic assets to deliver critical supplies to troops or civilians in austere environments anywhere in the world. Quote, this is the Army's watercraft moment, and we're up to it. Uh, said Army Colonel Samuel Miller, the 7th Transportation Brigade commander. The U.S. and world will see our humanitarian capability on display in an action forward, he said. The 7th is highly trained, mobile, versatile, and capable to operate in these types of environments. Delivering the capability involves a complex choreography of logistic support and landing craft vessels that can carry the equipment used to construct an approximately 1,800-foot causeway comprised of modular sections linked together known as a trident pier. Once in theater, the unit will begin construction of the causeway off the coast of Gaza, enabling the flow of critical aid from the sea to civilians affected by the ongoing conflict. The capability is expected to be operational in about 60 days. Uh, The 7th is one of the units that falls into the category where all of their units are very uh, deployable for an immediate response force for different type of contingencies around the world. Once operational, the pier will be capable of delivering up to 2 million humanitarian aid meals per day. The commander stressed that JLOT's capability enables the U.S. to continue delivering aid without putting boots on the ground in Gaza. We'll be working with partners in the region uh, to be on the receiving end of, but at no time will we require U.S. forces to actually go on the ground. Our role will essentially be to provide the service of getting to the causeway, at which point it will then be distributed. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for iNews.tv.